Hi, hello. This time I'm going to show you how to use the this effect for making a bracelet for the wrist. So I have this one really big one for us to really appreciate. Of course, this is make, made in very very tiny tiny line but uh, actually this will see it we will see it better and this is not a real bracelet it's just to show how one does it using this interesting effect now this effect is the effect of that knot that i told you the infinity infinity knot that i've seen in youtube channels other channels and then uh, that i have adapted to make a medallion now you see i didn't cut it here because actually i don't have rope so i need the rope i'm going to undo this but as you can see can see this is the old-fashioned way of making the end so this point comes from the square knot and this point comes from the square knot what we do we we'll pass it under the square knot and under the other one and then we cut it here you just cut it and it is well inside and under four ropes one two three four so it will never come out from here so let's let's begin how one does this and in here you have also the same way so this is the old-fashioned way so we pass this line we pass it under all these so under one two three four five then we cut it here and that's it it will never come out of here and this one is the line from this side comes from here we insert it with the feet or with the needle if it is a small work and it goes one two three four under four and then we cut it here so this is was the old way now we burn it it's a facility i have to learn how to use that facility but nevertheless here it is how it is done with cotton cotton does not burn right let's begin so i have here a rope now i use another rope in here i'm going to make the infinity knot so we pass this one over we bring this over its own part so over this one part and now here we just make a small loop inside this knot here it is now in here it's very easy very easy oh goodness uh -huh. this just doing this it's easy but um, have to turn it in the proper way or not <laughs> we will not have the knot so here it is important to catch this one in the back and to come here we have to keep it well these fingers because if we left it loose this will undo itself all right now it's better and here we have our knot so this is the infinity knot but i have adapted to a macrame effect i've already explained it in detail in the the last video so i will not state it here again now i'm pulling it all so i take the slack out it's a good idea to to begin from here from the middle and then to leave to the sides and here we have our perfect infinity knot infinity infinity knot I was mesmerized when I saw this knot. Mesmerized. Uh, I saw it in the YouTube channels and wow. 
YouTube macrame channels and I was really impressed. So I decided to add something to, to the knot and I devised this way of making the medallion. medallion. It's very interesting and I'm very 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 happy with this. So here I am using it for a bracelet effect. Now you see this one here. This one here. This one this one has to come really over it and here also over it. So now you just do a knot. Another square knot. And here is a little difficult to know exactly how much do we pull. If we pull enough, really enough, this knot will come out, you know, and it will stand out. It will stand out and that is exactly what we want, that he will stand out a little. A little up, you see, this has to come up. Alright, so we have our medallion made. It's impressive, right? Now here is, as I've told you here, so we just pass it under this one and under that one, and then we cut it. Of course, I'm not going to cut, but I'm going to pass it just for you to see it. Although this is a very strong and stout line, we can also, also pass it with relatively ease. When it is small, with a needle, it passes also beautifully. Of course, cannot be too much small, or else the, the needle will be much more started in the line and that is not good because it can destroy can destroy the the work so it is good idea not to make these with very 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 small line so you see and it is done I'm not going to put this one because this one is the same you have already seen it so this one passes and now this does the same, this will do, does the same. Okay, okay, I'll pass it because it's here, it's in uh, 10 minutes, it's not much. 10 minutes, 8 minutes. I'm going to pass it because actually it's not a good idea to stay with it in that position. So this is just a demonstration, remember? You have to work it out your own way. This is just demonstrating how we, one does the medallion. So this central part is the important part. And then the bracelet. There are several ways in the YouTube channels of, of finishing the bracelets. Some very modern ones that I did not knew. When was my time, we just do did a small a small knot, a small square knot with it with two ends. So we put all, all the ends up and then we keep just one in one side and the other in the other side. And we made a small not now you see this one here does not want to go all right so it was a very naive way of, of doing this bracelet 
and I sell, I sold, I sold thousands of bracelets because, well, everybody used it like that in those times. Now when I get to the YouTube, I see sophisticated ways of, of finishing the bracelets, and I said, I say to myself, wow, this has, has evolved. So you have to to see it and use it. So this is made. This is the important part. It's the part that I, I really want to show you. So the medallion is made. The effect, the central effect, is made. So I'm not going to cut, but you just cut it here, and it will never come out from there. Now I'm going to show you how one makes the macrame. Now my macrame, it's very easy, you just put one here, and here we go. So this is the plain plain work, there is nothing to show here actually. So you just do it and keep doing. Aha, uh -huh, but oh, it's not a good idea to have this one in here because we have a loop here and a loop here. It's a good idea to have this loop on the other side. You don't want the crashing of this one with this one, right? So after all, there is something. Right, we do we did it to that to that side. So this is so we did, did we do now from this side first, and we'll have it in the other way. Aha, here it is. So you see it now. It is here. Actually, it is much better with this one because actually this one is smaller and this one is bigger, and this one is the same as this, but this one is the bigger one. That's what we want to avoid, right? Mm -hmm. mm, wait, 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 wait a second. What am I doing here? Oh no! Huh? Wait a second. Now I lose it. I lost it. Oh no, this is not like this. Oh, it was good after all. Ah, oh, wow, 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 wow. Now I'm making exactly what I did not want to do. Ah, this is like this. Okay. But, well, actually, it is in this side now. It is not crashing. And this one has a space. Okay. 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 It's good. So, we close it. All right. We close it and you see there is a small, a small di distance here, but it, they don't crash. But these ones... Even these ones they do. If it was here, it was much, much worse. All right, so let's begin. Macrame can be confusing. Sometimes can be confusing. You know, it's all like this. So 10 minutes more three. I'm going to show you the other side. Not going to make it to lose many time, much time here. All right, so it is good. Now it's the same thing. We pass it through this side and then to this side, and then even one of these we we pass it over these two and under this one, two, three, four. So the middle stays there. And then we stay only with one. In the old days, then we make a small, a small square knot with this end and the other end from the other side, and we finish the bracelet. But that was the old naive way. It's very naive. I'm not so sure if people now want those things. Sometimes there are surprises, you know, there are things that that are intemporal. That's right, sometimes there are things that are intemporal, they, they don't need... 
much sophisticating sophistication because this was very easy in cheap things that we saw oh no oh no 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 I need here more space Here we are. So we are going to put this in the proper way. And now we just take another, just like it, the same. And we put it here. Now here, all right, I have this one here. Hmm. Oh, it was the same, so I, I'm not going to do it to this side. Wait a second. So we just ignore that these two hands are here. Just imagine that I have cut it. So I'm going to do it first to this side. And that's it. All right. All right. Just have to pull it well. And that's it. That's okay. It's interesting that this one, ah, this one is here, but in here there is no this one. All right, there is a difference, but it's not important for us, this difference. It's interesting. I did not realize it just now. Funny, right? And that's it. I hope you have enjoyed this um, little tu tutorial of how, how to use the medallion infinity, infinite infinity or infinite knot yeah, yeah i don't remember the name actually i don't know if it is infinity or infinite infinity infinity knot and that's it it's a beautiful bracelet 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 just push it like this and it is really interesting let me find it out of course this one is too much big but still still take a good look how beautiful it is it is extremely interesting right Let me find it out. All right. All right. It's not bad. It's not bad. Even even so big, right? Even so big. It's interesting. It's really interesting. I think it's really interesting and in, in, in re, really really nice so so nice right so expressive i think that it has a special expression because the knot actually it is perfectly visible on top of the others right it's perfect i think it's perfect all right <coughs> see you next video i hope you have enjoyed this video and see you next time